Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back for our NHL 16 BAGM following the Philadelphia Flyers. And we are just about ready to get started with a year number two under our belts. So, going off of the comments in the last episode, we have returned injuries on, so we're going to give that another shot. I'll definitely try to not spend as much time in the line changes as possible because I still want to get a lot of simulating done. But uh, I did, apparently it's already on. I know I definitely wanted to make that change. I wanted to make sure that it would be on the least amount of injury occurrence as possible. So it is on that apparently. So there's nothing else I could do to that. But we should be good to go. I added up all our lines. So I'll show you guys those right now. And we'll get ready with our squad for year number two. So on the Flyers, we got Wayne Simmons, Claude Drew, Jacob Voracek, line one. Line number two, Michael Roffel, Brandon Shen, and Sean Couturier. Third line, Sam Gagne, Scott Lawton, and Matt Reed. Th fourth line, Brandon McMillan, Ryan White, and Colin McDonald. On defense, we got Michael Delzato and Mark Streit, Luke Shen, Radko Gudas, Ben Lovejoy, and Evgeny Medvedev. And then, uh, let's see. So, special teams, power play setup is like that with Gagne, Shen, and Reed. Four checks, Giroux, and Simmons. Once again, no Michael Roffel on or Sean Couturier on the power plays. Uh, power play line number two right there. Penalty kill, though. We have Scott Lawton on the first pair with Ryan White. Coots will be killing off the second pair with McMillan. Shen and Gudas paired up once again. Once again. It's again on that pair. Uh, once again, three-man penalty kill right there. Extras. That's all fun and dandy. Goaltender, Steve Mason, and Michael Neuverth. Okay? So that's our NHL team. AHL squad. So we got Pierre Ward belmar Nick Cousins, and Pelugiai on the first pair. Lier, Vandevelde, and Strzok on the second. Goldborn, Daryl Powell, and Timo Meyer, or Meyer, sorry, Timo Meyer on the third pair, and then Albe Kubel, Eric Cornell, and Nikita Jepalovs, Jev Palovs on the fourth line pair. So our offense is looking pretty good. Other than Kubel, everybody's above a 70, which is nice, or around like 75, which is good. Defensively, it's scary. Travis Sandheim and Robert Hag, Brandon Manning, Shane Gostas Bear, Sam Warren, and Mark All. That's that's terrifying. Especially when Ivan Provorov gets in here then as well. Our defense is going to be very, very good. Uh, special teams. Got to make sure we have Sandheim, Gosses, Bear, and Hag playing in there for the power plays. And then for the penalty kills, we have Sam Warren on the first pairs for that. And then in goaltender, we have Anthony Stolarz. Stoli, the goalie, will be starting. And Matej Tomek is the backup. All right, so I'm hoping, like I said, I'm, I'm not hoping for injuries. But if injuries do pop up, more... Uh, Sandheim and Hag are easily going to be able to fill the defensive roles on this team. So let us simulate to this next game here up against the New Jersey Devils. And uh, we'll call our good old team meetings because of recent roster moves. And we'll call our team meeting here. Hold the team meeting before we start this game off. And we're good. So our locker room chemistry is pretty good to start off the year. It's at 84%, which is nice. All right, so let's see. You know, I think the front office is making a lot of smart decisions as of late. Oh, uh, thanks. So we have a good crew there and know what they're doing. No effect on him. I feel the locker room is a dysfunctional family. And we may need a shake up. Mark Strite, you need to hold off here. I hear your feedback. Like, uh, we know about the problem. I need to be a part of the solution, not the problem. Mark, I need you. There you go. I need you to be, uh, you know, you're a leader of this team. You're the assistant, one of the assistant captains, for God's sakes. I need you to, you know, put this team on your back. Be a leader in that club, Bruce. All right, so here we go. Hold the team meeting. Game number one of 82 tonight, gentlemen. Enjoy the butterflies and feed off the crowd, but this is just one of 82. Let's focus on our game, and the results will come. Uh, I want you all to bring your A game right out of the gates starting tonight. Yep, let's bring our A game right out of the gates, and everybody hates that. Of course they do. All right, AHL squad. Uh, okay, Brandon Manning is semi-okay. Uh, I'm surprised it took you this long to give me the captaincy. Okay. I'm glad you're happy you deserved it for a while. Positive effect. You probably have every reason, but I can't understand for losing my captaincy. Yeah, Travis is a little bit upset about that. You don't have to, you don't under, have to understand my decision. You accept. I understand it's disappointing. You're on my radar if I make future changes. Uh, you need to pull up your socks and get out there and show. You know, what? let's let's give some let's give some motivation for Travis. You need to pull up your socks and get out there and show me I made the wrong choice. Uh, no effect on him there. Uh, Vandy, you know, Chris is kind of upset with the thing right now. Constructed to say, say it, just don't just complain. And uh, negative effect, yeah, Chris is, 
Vandy's kind of losing his touch out there, but that you know that's fine. Uh, everybody else seems to be going pretty good, I think. Yeah, all right, so we're fine for that. AHL and the NHL squads are good to go. All right, so here we go. Game number one of 82 tonight. Let's simulate this first game. Why not? We'll simulate till we lose a game. All right, so here we go. First game of the year up against the New Jersey Devils for year number two. Let's see if this Flyers team can get the ball rolling here. Game number one. Here we go. First period. Uh, four to one. That's a good start, boys. Michael Roffel, Wayne Simmons, Sean Couturier, and Claude Giroux. So a four period, a four goal first period on Corey Schneider and the Devils. And that's a good way to start the season, boys. Second. Uh, all right, that's good. Third period, five to two. There you go. Ryan White gets one. Mike Camilleri get Mike Camilleri gets one on Mace. But we open up this season with a five to two win over the New Jersey Devils, and that is what I'm talking about. All right, so let's continue to do the in-game simulation until we lose a game, and then we'll just start the simulating here because we do have injuries on, and uh, we'll obviously be notified of them as they come. All right, so here we go. Up against the Boston Bruins, first home game of the year, first period. Uh, one to nothing for Boston and Patrice Bergeron. Second period, two to one. Nicely done. Mark Streit and Ryan White, Malcolm Subban is in the net. Third period, ooh, they tie it up two to two. Overtime. Uh, Patrice Bergeron gets one and Steve Mason in overtime. So we do lose that game in overtime three to two. So that's an overtime loss. Uh, let's keep going until we get a regulation loss. Let's keep going until we get a regulation loss here. Let's do this one up against the New York Rangers who are 0-2 to start the year. All right. Another home game for us. First period. Nothing, nothing. Second period. one nothing. Chris Kreider on Steve Mason. All right. Come on, boys. Big third period. Ah, Claude Giroux gets one late on Lindquist, but Kevin Hayes, and there's our regulation loss. So we get regulation win, overtime loss, and uh, right, right, la, and then a uh, overtime loss, and regulation loss. All right, so let's simulate the first two months as we normally do, barring injuries. We'll see what happens here. All right, so let's simulate here. Flyers have lost locker room chemistry. Don't know what that's all about. Columbus Blue Jackets. Let's see how we do. Overtime win. I'll take that. There's a win over Vancouver. Uh, yeah, let's go play Morale. We got some meetings to take care of here. All right, so Sam Gagne wants a meeting. He's pretty happy with himself right now. I have to admit, I've been underperforming lately. All right, so Sam doesn't want... Sam was the guy who likes to be... Um, was he the one who likes to be hard-nosed or does not like to be hard-nosed? I completely forget. Uh, I forget. I think you'll turn a corner soon, I'm sure. No effect. Okay, I think he was the hard-nosed person. All right, Simmer, when I look at my performance in recent games, it doesn't paint a pretty picture. All right, Simmer, we need you to produce, man. The numbers are black and white. We need you to produce. You're a leader on this team. Positive effect. Yep, Simmons is a hard-nosed guy. We need him to do the work out there. Braden Shen, he's been underperforming lately as well. Uh, let's. You, I know you'll turn a corner soon, Shenner. Uh, no effect on him either. Okay. So, Shen might be a guy who needs to be a little bit hard-nosed as well, but we'll see about that when we do that later. Uh, AHL guys, let's see. Uh, nobody as of right yet. Robert Hag's 81 now. Robert Hag is now an 81 overall, and he's still considered a depth defenseman. Okay, that's always nice to note. Let's see. Uh, I got to keep an eye on these guys. These guys I need to keep a, a close eye on. That's for damn sure. I need to keep a close eye on Robert Hag. I need to keep a close eye on Sandheim just to see if, you know, if these guys manage to uh, jump in overall. But Hag is now an 81, which is really freaking good. He's got some good defensive stats. He'll be, he might be getting into the squad later on in the year, but we'll see. All right. Uh, I need to stop the simulation here because I am in the AHL and I need to follow the Philadelphia Flyers. Switch to the NHL. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, two months, right? Yeah, two months. All right. So we're 4-1-1 one, and one to start. That's not bad. Uh, there's another win over Ottawa, which is nice. And there's a little regulation loss to Nashville. All right. So we're 5-2-1. and one. Uh, Chicago, I can understand a loss here. Uh, but we do beat them. And another win over Winnipeg. All right, Philly. 7-2-1 and one after the first month. That's good. That's good. All right. Good meetings, guys. Good, good, good. We're playing well. All right, Simmons, he's on a uh, he's on a neutral trend right now. All right, seems like management is really on the ball as of late. It's great. All right, um, let's see. <laughs> I need on ice performance for new, not comments about management. You know, he kind of seems like the guy who wants to be hard nosed. So let's do that. 
uh, not comments about management. Positive effect on with Simmons. Okay, yeah, S Simmer. I don't need you. I don't need you. Uh, you know, buttering me up right now. Just play fucking hockey. <laughs> I think that the team is really gelling and showing out there on the ice. Well, thanks, Scott. I agree. Theme sings. Bleh. Things seem to be going very nicely for us right now. You're young. You need to be uh, consoled a bit. So I have no problem with that. Mace is back down to 87. Uh, who's actually on a nice like current overall trend upwards? Or can we see that? I don't think we can see that. We can see the trends, but I don't think we can see like current overall differences. Lawton's on a downward trend. He's the only one on a downward trend. Okay, that's fine there. AHL. Uh, we can hold the team meeting in the AHL. All right, let's do this. All right, some fans are, were worried that we couldn't beat that team, which makes that victory much sweeter. However, uh, we shouldn't be in the position to have to be the underdog that pulls off an upset. We've had lots of pressure on us, came through in space, just like the new But yeah, we, we shouldn't have to be the underdog to pull off those wins. All right, kind of split decision there. Once again, let's split this back to the NHL team. And you know what? The Flyers are doing well, so I'm just going to keep let them do their thing. They're 8-2-1. and one. I'm just going to continue to let this simulation roll and let Philly do its thing. Another win over Boston. No injuries yet either, which is good. All right, let's add up a scaling assignment here. Uh, let's go for, once again, uh, current assignment is in the where? The National League. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's go for the OHL. Let's scout the forwards out in each of the Canadian leagues for the first couple of things. There's a shootout win. Okay, here is our first injury of the year. Ryan White has been injured with a injured knee. His estimated return is November 13th. Okay, so he's only going to miss maybe two games. Uh, you must call up players from your AHL team. Okay, so let's call up somebody. Let us call up somebody to the squad here. Okay, so we lost Ryan White, who's a center. So we do need a center. Because uh, you're 79 overall. Or do we want to go with Vandy? Vandy's actually gained a couple of overalls back. Um... He's not really a center, though. He's not really a good, like, uh, defensive or offensive center. Cousins has the defensive categories, which isn't bad. He doesn't have the face-offs either. But he probably has better poise than Cuz does. 75. Well, it's only for a couple games. You know what, Cousins? Let's let's call you up. The Cousins call you up. Let's go. Let's go for edit lines. I'm just going to throw you right in there. On Ryan White's. Yeah, all right, Taylor. I know, Hag. Don't worry. Cuz will be back soon enough. I'll send him back down afterwards. All right, so Cuz, you get yourselves in there. Substitute. Because I think that's the only pair Ryan White was in if he was other in uh, special teams. No, he was not in special teams. Penalty kill. Was he on the penalty kill? He was on the penalty kill. Okay, so we lost the penalty killer. Uh, let's fill in somebody here. Um... Who would want to kill some penalties? Uh, McDonald's? No. Nah. You know what? Claude, get in there. Claude, kill off some penalties for me. I would appreciate it. Just for a couple games. I'll substitute you back out there. But uh, I would appreciate it if you could kill off some penalties for us. All right. And and then in the AHL, we need to fill out somebody up on the center. So let's just go for a substitute real quick. And let's just put uh, Gumas in there. Whoops, I didn't want to substitute in all lines. Well, it kind of makes sense because Gumas is the center. I'll just substitute in all lines once again. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just make sure that I do that for uh, Cuz when he goes back in there. Okay, I'll just make sure I substitute all lines and Cousins when he comes back. Okay, cool. All right, so Cousins gets in there for a couple games. We'll simulate there until Ryan White is back, and uh, we'll see how it happens. All right, so there's our first loss. Ryan White's available to play. I figured that. Uh, it lines manually. All right, so let's go to... All right, so let us uh, switch out cuz. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. We'll send you back down. All right, so Ryan White goes back in here. And, yep, he's still injured a bit, but that's fine. Um, I need to go to scratch players. Uh, Nick Cousins is scratched. Okay, options. Actually, no, let's switch them up first. Special teams, penalty kill. Uh, Drew, let's swap you out for Ryan White. Ah, changing. Was that changing all lines? 
Shit, I, I don't know if that was. Crap, I, I have to check. I guess be paranoid when I see that crap. Penalty kill. Three man penalty kill. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, so special teams there. Uh, I need to go to options. Go to roster moves. Let's send Cuz back down. Alright, Cousins. Ooh, waiver eligible. Ooh, he's gonna have to go through waivers now. Oh, because Cousins is on a one way deal. Uh, I should have paid more close attention to that. Alright, well, cuz you're on the team now, apparently, because I can't risk that. Shit. Alright, Cousins, you're up here for the remainder of the year, then. You're up here for the remainder of the year, so you'll be sitting on the bench getting some NHL experience, then. Alright, um... Okay, so we have to edit these lines up now. Ah, fuck, I didn't know Cousins was on a one-way deal. Shit. Alright, we gotta move these lines up, then. Pal... I think Gumes is our only other center. I don't think there's another scratch center. No, there's not, so... Gumes is gonna have to be in there. Um, so I guess Vandy's gonna have to get all the special teams parts there. So Vandy. Alright, this may you know what guys, this is gonna take a little bit of time. Let me do this real quick and then I'll cut away. Alright guys, so there we go. The lineups are all back and situated once again. So Cuz is gonna have to stay up here and stay on the bench now for the rest of the year. That sucks. I did not realize that he was on a one way uh, a contract deal. Did not realize that, so unfortunately he's going to be stuck on the bench until we get another injury that pops up. So if uh, we see an injury do uh, appear or happen, he can easily go in there and uh, substitute him. So the more he plays, uh, Michael Bourneval is being placed on waivers. Ooh, he's relatively young, isn't he still? We're only in year number two. Yeah, wow. Bottom six forward, high potential. He's being placed on waivers. Uh, yeah, I would love to claim him. Yes. Yeah, I'm claiming him. I'm claiming Michael Bornval. Welcome to the team. Michael Bornval is now an, uh, is now an alternate captain. Ooh, we're losing some games this month. There's a win over Pittsburgh and another win over Toronto. All right, so we kind of bounce back after that. All right, so a little bit of a rough patch month. Uh, how many games did we lose this month? One, two, three, four... We only lost four in regulation, which isn't bad. A shootout loss in there as well. But still, we're 15-7-2. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms are wrecking shop right now in the AHL. They're 13-4-2, which is good. It sucks that I had to take Cuz away from them. That, that really sucks, but... Then the breaks. I didn't realize that. I did not realize he was on a one-way contract, and that just bones my ass. So we're first place in the Metro, which is good. Uh, the Phantoms are first place in their division as well. Nicely done, boys. Nicely done down there in the AHL. Our defense is 85 in the AHL. <laughs> Rip. All right. Um, yeah, let's, let's check stats and then do player morales and then do that fun stuff. All right. So let's check this team stats first. First in the Metro, which is nice. Uh, all right. Let's go for entire league. Let's check out all of our stats here. Yeah. All right. So goals four per game. We currently sit at uh, goals four per game. We're at a right here 2.583, which is about middle of the pack area. So nothing too, nothing too bad about that. Goals against average uh, 2.25, so we're top 10 for that, which is good. Okay, so goals against is good. Goals four could definitely use a little bit of a bump. Uh, power plays. Where's our power play at? Our power play is 15.5, put 15.15% and we're not the most team on the power play. We actually have, we're not on the power play all that much. So our power play could use a little bit of a work, work up. So we can maybe do some edits to that. And then penalty kill, we are at a 86.5.05%, which is one, two, three, four, five, we're seventh best in the NHL. So we're perfectly fine. Homer, 11, 4, and 1 away, 4, 3, and 1, last 10, 4, 5, and 1. Good job, boys. Good job. All right. So, only thing we can maybe change is the power play a little bit. But other than that, I think we are perfectly fine. All right. Bourneval will send him down so we could get him playing in the AHL as well. I don't know why the Canadians let him go. It's pretty weird. All right. So, uh, Jacob Vorchek and Claude Giroux are possibly. Uh, they're doing some work. They're doing some work. 25 points for Jake, 23 for Claude, 
in 24 games. I'm appreciating that. Wayne Simmons with 14 points, trying to keep up with them. Coots with 13, Raffle with 9, Shen with 9, Gagne with 8, Ryan White has 8 points on the fourth line. Appreciate that. Scott Long with 6, McMillan has 5, he's up to an 82 now. Colin McDonald has 5. Matt Reed, not doing too much work there. Only four points for Matt Reed. Cousins had a minus one in the one game that he played, and Michael Bornevall is up there as well. So we can keep Michael Bornevall up here as well for a potential... Um, well, he's a minor league scoring forward. We should probably play him down there. But he could be up on the team as well for injury reserve uh, for right now. All right, defenseman, we got straight with 21 points. Lovejoy with seven, Medvi with six, Gudas with six, he's up to an 84 now. And Shen with three, Delzato only with one. So that's kind of shopping that my uh, offensive defenseman don't have as many points. And uh, this game just went all whack and haywire. Turbo mode, activate. Uh, yep, it activated turbo mode. It activated turbo mode. Jesus Christmas. I'll check the AHL stats as well after this. All right, so goaltenders. Let's see how my attendees are doing. All right, so Mace has played 22 games. Neuvirth has only played three. Michael Neuvirth with a very good goals against average. Uh, 1.69, 2-1, save percentage of 0.938. That's very good. Mace is playing well, 2.21, 13-6-1, and one, save percentage of 0.931. Two shutouts for him as well. All right, so my goaltenders are playing fine. Goalies are playing fine. Uh, let's check out the AHL squad. All right, so Tomac is two and three. Stoli's eleven and two. All right, so let's let's continue to ride Stolars. How are my D guys doing? Uh, Ghost has thirteen. Brandon Manning is ten. Hag he's up to an eighty-one. Both Sandheim and Robert Hag are both up to eighty-one overall. Dear God, no wonder our team, our AHL team, is doing so good because uh, with these defensemen that we have, they're just way too stacked. Uh, Pluja is doing fine. Team uh, Myers up to it. Tw uh, has 12 points. Jepilov is, you know, he's all right. Albe Kubel's getting some experience up there as well. Uh, Straka, Lier, okay. Everybody's getting some positive morale in the AHL, which is good. Pal, Bandy, Cornell's getting some good experience as well. All right, cool. So the AHL team is doing fine. The Flyers are doing pretty decent as well. Would be nice to get maybe Matt Reed going a little bit, but for right now, I can deal with it. And uh, we're playing pretty well. All right, so let's go to uh, player morale, and then maybe we'll edit up, edit up the power play lines as well. I might call it here. I might call it a video. I might call it a video because we're already at like 25 minutes, so I might get some suggestions from you guys. All right, so uh, there are still player meetings in the NHL. AHL guys, just Brandon Manning. Good performances are something that just come naturally to me, obviously. Brandon's kind of a once, got, once again guy, another person who likes to be... Um, Kind of compliment. There's a lot to be proud of. Good work. Uh, no effect on him. Whatever. All right, Brandon. You be that way. So 80% in the AHL. We got 88% locker room chemistry in the NHL, which was fantastic to say the least. Okay. So this team is pretty good. This team is gelling very well. It sucks that we have to keep Nick Cousins up here without any playing time, but if any anybody on the team gets injured, Nick Cousins is going to easily get slotted into a third or a fourth line role as of right now. So Matt Reed needs to pick up his his shit. That's for damn sure. He only has four. Uh, he only has four points, four power play points. So I think what I might do is um, if I go to special teams, he's not getting it done on the power play as he only has four points in. I think 24 games, which is not great. So I think we could definitely edit up the power play lines a little bit. Maybe we take Lovejoy off. Well, no, Lovejoy's actually doing good. He has five goals, doesn't he? Yeah, he has five goals and two assists, which is good. He has a plus, he's a plus 10. There's no way I'm taking him off the power play. I'll leave him on the power play because he's got like a good defensive stat for um, the power play kind of deal. So I'll leave him on there. Maybe we move Medvi out. And, uh, well, Mevedev's actually really good. He's a good, he has a good puck moving skills. And his defense is almost just as good. So maybe we move, maybe we just switch the defense around a bit. Maybe we move Delzato down and uh, Lovejoy up since he's getting it done. Move, pair him with Strite. And then maybe take off Matt Reed and put Sean Couturier in there for the power play since Coots is actually playing very, very decent. Um, so, yeah, maybe that's the only change we make for the power play. Maybe we move Simmons around as well because he's, he's doing okay. He's not... Claude Drew and Jacob uh, Voracek pace-wise for points, but, you know, they're doing pretty well as well. And then, uh, which should, uh, that's pretty much all that we can do for right now. 
uh, because it sucks because I can't send Cuz down. I really, really want to send Nick Cousins down, but he has that stinking one-way contract. He has that one-way contract, which really sucks, and he has to go on waivers. I don't want him to stay scratch forever, but he's going to be eligible for waivers, and I don't want to take that risk with him because he is medium potential for a bomb six forward. I don't want to risk that. Now, Bornival, can I send him down, though? Is it possible to send Michael Bornival down? Where the hell is Michael Bornival? Bornival. Uh, where is Bornival? Is he even up here? Or is he on our AHL squad? He might be on our, on our AHL squad already. Uh, Bornival. Bornival. Yeah, okay, so Michael Bornival is on our AHL squad already, because he's on a two-way contract. So, um... Yeah, that is also a question. Maybe we could switch out another player with Michael Bornival, put him onto the team somewhere. Maybe we could take off a guy like Tyrell Goldborn, who's, you know, nothing I really need. I don't need to kind of level up or, you know, get better or grinder. I would rather put Bornival in there, switch him up with, with Lier, put Lier on the third line with Mier, with Meyer and Cornell. That way I could get a nice little... uh couple 70s going up there so you guys can let me know because I'd like to keep Abe Kubel I can't put take Gumas out because you know he's not really um I have no other uh I don't have another center because cuz would be um taking up that spot Cornell would be playing fourth line time if it wasn't for that but let me know what you guys think should I should I switch out Goldborn for Born of All get him playing down there in the AHL since we swooped that uh, swooped him up off waivers and then let me know for the NHL squad of uh, special teams for power play. You think it would be a good idea to switch Matt Reed out, put Sean Couturier in there, maybe switch up the defenseman a little bit. But for right now, uh, you know, I have no worries right now. The team is playing good both wise in the AHL and the NHL. Stoli and Mason are doing a good job. The defense is holding it down on both sides of the ice. And the offense, Kludger and Jacob Orchick seem to be clicking very well so far this year. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your suggestions in the comment section down below, and uh, we'll take it. So far, our how many games have we played? Twenty was that? Twenty four. Twenty four games played. We've only had to deal with one injury, and that was to Ryan White, and that was only for one day. So uh, to be perfectly honest, injury wise, we're we're pretty clean so far, and let's uh, let's hope it stays that way. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys next time.